Raleigh asked me to teach him again how to make lab, which is lactic acid bacteria, and it's used a lot in natural farming to prevent mainly like fungal diseases and improve overall health and absorption of nutrients in like vegetable crops, but also some trees. And um, most fruits and vegetables and our skin and surfaces of living beings already have large colonies of bacteria and yeasts on their surface. So um, one way to reproduce those bacteria to be able to um, then use them with a specific purpose is um, through fermentation. So um, the method that I like to use and that I was taught to um, reproduce lactic acid bacteria, you don't know specifically which because there's many many strains and types but um, a general way is through the fermentation of rice water so um, this process can take like around a week or so until you have the final product so basically what you need is uh, filtered water um, rice a couple of bottles you need sugar or molasses and um, and milk we're going to do today is um, uh, ferment rice so that we obtain a fermented liquid uh, which contains all the microorganisms that are on the surface of rice. Rice is known to have a lot of lactic acid bacteria but also yeast um, and it can have other kinds of microorganisms as well. Um, so uh, I have a recipe um, that doesn't need to be followed but um, I mean it's useful if you kind of want to manage your inputs and how much you're using if you're you know like planning to fertilize or use this uh, on a like commercial scale you may want to you know assess how much you're putting into your system and what you're getting in return so my recipe says to um, basically ferment five ounces of rice and 800 milliliters of water uh, for a couple of days. So I already separated um, five ounces of rice in each of these bowls. So I'm just going to go ahead. I think maybe these bottles are not big enough, but we'll see. You can also um, use a little bit less rice. This is organic rice, by the way, um, which is recommended because of the lack of use of pesticides and herbicides, it will have a larger colony of microorganisms on the surface. And the water that we're using is also filtered and we use um, a filter that is called Berkey. It is a carbon filter and you can also add some attachments to filter out other um, molecules that may be in the water like arsenic or fluoride, all those um, heavy metals or harsh chemicals like cl chloramine um, would probably slow down if not completely uh, cancel out the, the fermentation process because they would inhibit the survival of the bacteria. So we filter our water and I'm not really going to measure the water. I know that wine bottles are like 750 milliliters so it's around right i know that it won't be able to fit even 750 because the rice is also there but i'm just gonna fill these up until the neck gets narrow oops here we go i'm gonna use a cork this one is too big thank you <laughs> press it in and then I'm gonna shake to to release all those bacteria into the water and rehydrate them and make them be active again so what they may do now that they are rehydrated is they will try to start feeding on the carbohydrates that they can get off of the surface of the rice and the, the water coming out of this you can see how it's turning murky 
over here, maybe in the sun. Um, that is where all our um, colony of lactic acid bacteria and other microorganisms are as well. Later on in the process with the milk, we're going to make this lactic acid bacteria specific. So here's number one, on to number two. Okay, so we shook them all, the water is getting murkier, and I like to use um, glass, dark glass bottles, because they will also protect um, the bacteria uh, from sunlight, because what you want to do next is put these bottles in a dark, uh, warm spot, room temperature um, is best but if it's you know very cold inside with AC you may want to leave them in the garage if it's warm enough outside too and we're gonna leave these bottles for two to three days and monitor the smell and it should smell somewhat like a rice fermented vet drink like a I don't know, in, in Latin America we have chicha, which is very common, which is a corn fermented um, beverage. So any like nice sour fermented smell, something